that I introduce to you someone I'm sure all of you know already, nonetheless, Jeffrey Sachs, who has worked both at the Earth Institute at Columbia University, but also with the United Nations in developing the, de the Millennial Development Goals and now on the Sustainable de Development Goals. Jeff. This is a, a wonderful occasion for all of us. Many people here I know traveled to, to a great distance uh, to be here this evening also to help thank you and celebrate you and your leadership. Uh, I call him SG, so I will call him SG. Uh, but our Secretary General is uh, finishing 10 remarkable years of global leadership and I've had the remarkable honor to watch that leadership and to help uh, when I could. And I can tell you that the job of Secretary General, I think, objectively speaking, is the toughest job in the world. Everything will seem easy after this. Uh, every problem in the world comes to the Secretary General. And you might think being President of the United States is challenging. We'll find out if it is, uh, but uh, being Secretary General is like that 193 times because every country, every issue around the world, every conflict, every aspiration in the world is uniquely in the hands of, uh, of the Secretary General. And on many occasions when I travel with the Secretary General and his delegation to a G20 meeting or a summit meeting of some kind. Somewhere between 7 in the evening and 7 in the morning, the list of problems that has uh, accrued overnight, uh, the number of cables, the number of phone calls that the Secretary General had to make to try to unlock or unblock some kind of global emergency or to send a response team to a new disaster area or to handle a sudden a flashpoint in the world is absolutely extraordinary. And SG, I only want to share uh, my profound, unbounded admiration for you because I've watched for 10 years a person of incredible integrity, incredible hard work, great sense of humor, uh, always uh, able to manage uh, under remarkable pressures uh, and get us to where we are this evening. Where we are this evening is at a kind of watershed for the world and that's our subject this evening. And that is that under the Secretary General's lead and because of the realities that we face in the world, the whole world community, which is very fractious, very divided, very difficult, very complicated, agreed twice at the end of 2015 on remarkably far-reaching, important, shared, world objectives. The first agreement was on September 25th, 2015, when all 193 member states of the United Nations came together to set a shared agenda for 2030 on the common theme of sustainable development. And within that agenda, very bold and very visionary are 17 sustainable development goals which really bring us here this evening and will bring us back as I'll describe later for this coming year because we are a community that needs to put these goals into operation. Just a few weeks after that agreement was reached, another momentous achievement was made and also beyond any expectation because 
UN processes are very complex and climate negotiations are even more complex than normal UN processes. Any single one of the 196 signatories to the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change could have stood up in Paris in December 2015 and said, I object, and I'm not sure what your backup plan was, but it would not have been a very easy circumstance at all. And yet, just a few weeks after the Sustainable Development Goals were reached, uh, all 196 signatories signed the Paris Climate Agreement. And these two accomplishments are historic accomplishments. They were years in the making. Thousands of phone calls by the Secretary General, countless meetings, countless uh, gatherings at the United Nations headquarters, head of state conferences strategizing. And these two achievements are historic. And for that, we want to thank you, Secretary General. You have set the path for us for the coming generation, and we're profound. together with 
leadership of major religions and our friend William Venley, uh, the executive, the, the Secretary General of Religions for Peace, who brings together world religious leaders for peacemaking, uh, gave the opportunity for us to deepen the notion of putting ethics like the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that Anne mentioned and that is so wonderful that it's right in the entryway of this building. It's the perfect document to, as you walk in the building to put this into action. And so Ethics in Action was born and had its first meeting at the Vatican uh, last uh, month. And in that context, we decided that Ethics in Action belongs in all parts of the world, but where else but our home city and our beloved city of New York City. So tonight is also the first meeting of Ethics in Action for New York City. I'm going to say a bit more about that in a moment, but I've kept the Secretary General standing for a long time to explain that we are giving our first ever award uh, of Ethics in Action uh, conferred on Secretary General Ban Ki-moon for his unique and manifold contributions to the cause of sustainable development, peace, and human dignity. And it's given on behalf of Ethics in Action for Sustainable and Integral Development by Bishop Marcelo Sanchez Sorongo. And I'm lucky to have my name on the document also. Secretary General.